Hey, so I wanted to show a couple of our tricks that I uh, like from Screen Top. Um, sometimes I have to search through a deck of cards, and uh, one way I like to do that is I like to have a container uh, that's about the size of the cards, but has a bunch of line anchors that are outside of it, um, such that uh, each with a limit to how many um, tiles it could hold, so that when you put a deck on it, it splays out all the cards for you. And then you could search through it like this, or just sort of scan over it like this. And then when you're done, you could click it, press Control-A, and ba bing ba boom You're done. Alright? So sometimes you might have a <laughs> tile or something that has a... Uh, ba 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 something like uh, a bunch of information that's like meant to be looked at at different like orientations and it's not super conducive if you rely on spacebar to zoom in on stuff so what i do is that i have a container um so this container has a is rotated um a certain degree and then this container um has a cover on it that is closed so when I put it in this container, uh, you'll see that like it's slightly translucent, and that's because this is the cover of this container is closed. And so when I press spacebar over this container, it's zooming in on this container, but because it's mostly transparent, you pretty much see the um, tile that's inside of that container, and it's oriented um, based on like the containers like orientation um i do a similar thing with this dino card thing where uh this container is has a cover on it um if i have the cover open then does that but if i close it then i zoom on this it's really zooming in on this uh container but um it's since it has this um tile inside of it, it zooms in on this text that i want the players to be focusing on. So that's another trick. Um, okay, one last thing that's a common thing is that sometimes people want to have like a draw bag where you can't see how many tiles are in the bag. And uh, one way that you could do this is by having a container with like a uh, opaque lid. And with that, you can't see what's inside. Um, it does have, it will, if like, um, you do kind of need like an edge of the token to be peeking out a bit, so you can still select the things that are inside. Um, and you would need to make sure that this is up a bit because, like, if the um, uh, well, actually, it helps if you just use like a line anchor and have like the end be at the top, and then that way you could have it arranged like this. And then if you need to shuffle, you could click this, press Control. Roll A and then press Z, and then I'll shuffle all the tokens inside the bag. And then this is how you could draw out new tokens. All right.